Hi guys, welcome to my channel where I'll be showing you some low cost DIY mods that's sure to improve the look of your motorcycle. Several years ago I transformed a heavily oxidised Ducati exhaust system into a work of art. Now I'm about to do the same to my MV Agusta F4 and you won't believe the transformation. The F4 was Massimo Tamburini's final masterpiece, which Agusta fanatics worldwide like to refer to as motorcycle art. Tamburini was considered the Michelangelo of motorcycle design. But with pipes this heavily discoloured, I can hardly call this a work of art. So stick around and find out how I turn this into a stunning showpiece. You won't believe the results I get using products under $100. It takes a bit of time, but it's worth every bit of time and effort you put in. I'm going to start off by disassembling my exhaust system. If you have a full system, you may want to leave it assembled to the bike. I won't remove the section of pipe attached to the engine, as most of it isn't visible behind the motorcycle fairing anyway, and this part doesn't need to be perfect. Okay guys, let's get started. Let's just do what you want to, please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's Forget about a curve, you the all that is stuck in my head. It's me and you. Both speed in my heart is racing, but I'm not sure I wanna place it, cause it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move us into the next dimension. Let's just let our bodies be true. Now let's take a look at the products I'll be using for the job. I'll be using small polishing and buffing wheels for those hard to reach areas on the bike and various polishing and buffing compounds. I'll be using a large polishing wheel, a large buffing wheel for the bench grinder. Then I'll be using Autosol metal polish for the final polish. And you can use some high temperature gasket maker to seal the pipes when it's time to reinstall them. I'll also use some citric acid to passivate the surface, but more about that later. So there you have it, under $100 to make your bike look amazing. So your pipes are a stainless steel alloy with usually over 10.5% chromium. After manufacturing, your pipes may have been cleaned or pickled to remove any high temperature scale and low chromium layer of metal from the surface by chemical means. You see the iron molecules at the surface of the metal oxidise to form corrosion. By removing the iron and leaving chromium molecules, the chromium reacts with oxygen to form a strongly bonded surface layer of chromium oxide, protecting the iron in the steel from oxidation. So after pickling, your pipes may have then been passivated. This is a treatment of the steel surface, usually with an acid, to remove contaminants and promote the formation of the passive chromium oxide film. It's easier and less time consuming to dip the metal in large passivation baths of nitric or citric acid, but that comes with a very high setup cost. If it's a very high grade of stainless steel, the cleaning process can be enough to remove the free iron molecules at the surface and begin self-passivating. And if you don't ride in the rain or live in a corrosive environment, the passivating process may be unnecessary. Start by cleaning the polishing wheel with an isopropyl alcohol and water mixture and a nice clean rag. Next, 
Test your buffing compound to make sure it's not too aggressive. So here we have our first stage complete. A machine polish and buff to remove as much of the heavy scratching, gouging and surface pitting as we can in preparation for the final hand polish.
so I've used a gasket cement to seal all gaps and openings in the pipe. This improves exhaust flow and efficiency, but also prevents dirty exhaust gas seeping out through the gaps and discolouring the pipes again. I ran out of the Loctite gasket maker, so I've purchased his Manny Seal Exhaust Cement by CRC for $11.49. Any high temperature exhaust sealant will do the job. So here is the final result guys. As you can see, it's not an easy job, but just take a look at the difference. Now you want to make sure you keep them looking great. I suggest a quick polish with AutoSol every six months or so, depending on how often and where you ride your motorbike. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making more videos like this.